Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hey what's up, my name is Caitlin, and today I'm bringing you my no makeup baby face because we are going to try a, a bunch of new makeup out. So I have a full face of makeup products that I've never tried before, some of them are newer, some of them are not, and I'm just trying them for the first time. So before we dive in, if you like this kind of video, let me know by liking it and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these because I do these quite a bit, I love filming these, so... If you like full face of first impressions, then there you go. So diving in, we have a lot of stuff. So the first thing that we need is primer. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what's in here at this point because I've just been like throwing it in this box as I go. Ah, yes, okay. So I have the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. So we're gonna throw that all over my face. Try and get it to come out of the bottle. What the heck? This is starting out really great. There we go. It's like a bluey color. Mm, smells so good. I have swatched quite a few of these products because a lot of them come from like Ipsy and BoxyCharm. And then some of them I've purchased. So I have swatched quite a few of them, but I have not used any of them. This is really hydrating. Smells really good, but then it kind of doesn't at the same time. Like it's kind of like a coconut rose. So I'm loving the coconut, hating the rose. At least that's the vibe I'm getting. Maybe it's not a rose, but it's something floral. Like hibiscus, jasmine, jasmine. I think it's jasmine. <laughs> I could be totally wrong, but that's the, the vibe I'm getting. Feels really, really nice though. My skin feels very, very hydrated. I did already moisturize too. So it's extra hydrated, but it feels very cooling too. Like it feels like I kind of just rub mint all over my face, um, but it feels good. Not in like a bad way. Okay. A little tacky, not too bad. Um, I also have this. I kind of want to try this out as like a, um, like a glowy primer. I just put that in my mouth. That's cute. Uh, this is the Iconic London Illuminator in the shade Original. And I kind of want to put it all over my face. So I think I'm going to. Oh, mistakes may have just been made. That's intense. That's really dark. Oh, wow. Really glowy. I really hope my foundation can cover this. Otherwise, I might be starting over. Wow, that's glowy. Maybe I should have done like one drop for my whole face. <laughs> well, that one didn't go far at all. Okay. I'm confused. This is pretty though. This would be beautiful as a highlight. I feel like it's too dark for me though. <laughs> oh gosh. I look like I'm doing the full face of highlighter challenge again, which was a fun video. Okay, so now we're going to quickly put on my foundation because I look like the bronze tin man right now. <laughs> um, I have this, this is by CoverGirl, this is the Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I have the shade 510 Porcelain, which is the lightest shade that they have at my store. Um, probably should have not put this all over my face and then used a super light coverage foundation. Smart, okay. Just gonna go for it. Ooh, this is cold. That's actually a good color match. It smells like popcorn. I might be losing my mind today, but like everything has a scent. <laughs> that really smells like popcorn. I don't understand. Also just realizing I forgot to put chapstick on. This feels nice for a BB cream. It's giving me good. I think it's a BB cream. No, it's not. It's just light coverage foundation. But for a light coverage, it's covering that highlight pretty well. And it's going pretty far because I've only done those two pumps so far. I guess it's not even a pump. It's more of like a squeeze. I would call it about two squeezes. This is nice. It's very skin-like, it's very dewy, which could also definitely be the 
intense highlight underneath. But I like it. Yeah, I like that a lot. It went quite a ways. I mean, it's definitely light coverage. Like, you can still see my redness peeking through. But that's okay. It's collecting around my nose a little bit. Which we'll try to fix with some setting powder. But so far, I'm liking these products. Okay, concealer. I have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade C2. Love this packaging. I don't just really have a scent, it just smells like makeup. I'm gonna start out light. I don't like that, it's actually a little bit, kind of a lot, especially for me. I don't use a lot of concealer. But we're gonna start there and hope that's not too much. It's a nice shade, it's very brightening. I think that's actually a good amount to use because it's not looking crazy, but it's not, not like lacking coverage either. I can definitely still see a little bit peeking through, but like I feel like it definitely filled in my lines quite well. That's a win too so far, you guys. Hmm. Okay, I am going to pause before I do my powder because I want to use this first because I want to set it with the powder. This is my Pretty Vulgar. It's an eyeshadow primer. I rarely ever use eyeshadow primers anymore. Kind of just use concealer, but we have this. We got it. We're going to try it out. So I'm just going to pop some all over my eye here. Also, my air just picked on, and I'm really sorry if you can hear that. Uh, it's so hard to squeeze out. Or I'm just weak today, that could be the case too. Okay, so now that we got our base down, it's nice and tacky. It doesn't really have a color to it, which I appreciate, because a lot of times eyeshadow primers will be darker than my skin, and then I'll feel like it looks weird. So, I appreciate that it doesn't have a color to it. For setting powder, I have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics setting powder in the shade Translucent. So we're going to pop that all over my face. I'm just gonna, ooh, that's so finely milled. I don't remember it being that finely milled. Crazy, look at that, it's like barely coming out of here. That's kind of annoying. There we go, there's some. <laughs> Looks like, like, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Grabbing some of this. Just gonna pop that all over my face. Kind of getting like right in that nose area. If you guys have that issue, um, there's a hair. <laughs> like I always get like foundation collects right in my little nose crack there. It's so annoying. It smells good. Yeah, that's the powder that smells good. Smells fruity or like, like candy. Like candied fruit, that's what it smells like. Like if you had um, like a candy apple or like a, like that dried fruit, like the mango, mm, I love those. You guys are probably like, well, what are you talking about? This is setting the face nicely. And I was complaining about like the lack of product coming out, but I feel like it was still a good amount. Like I still have some left. Not done yet, obviously, but I'm just gonna take the rest of this and put it on my nose. So my nose is definitely the area that my nose and under my eyes is the area I need to set the most. So I do have dry skin, so I like to set my whole face just because it looks coherent with the rest of it. But I do wear glasses on the daily, so I always have to set my nose and under my eyes, otherwise my glasses rub it and it causes 
marks in my foundation it's annoying that mattified my face like super well like you guys saw how glowy my face was now it's matte so that's kind of sad like I wanted it to be glowy but at the same time that speaks volumes for how mattifying this is okay what do we have now um let's go back to face and we're gonna do contour I have been waiting to do this video because I didn't have a contour or a brow product and I was just like waiting for something to come but I was like you know I'm just gonna go get something so I just went to Walmart last night and just picked up some elf products to use because I needed something for this video and they changed their packaging I'm pretty sure I've used this or the bronzing palette before and I don't remember how I felt about it but the packaging is different which makes me wonder if the formula is different so we're gonna we're gonna find out not really because I don't remember how I felt about it so let's start with this shade yeah we'll go with that one oh very powdery mm. A little more orangey than I wanted it to be. A lot more orangey. Uh, let's take the darker shade just a little bit. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. I remember how I felt about them. This looks terrible. Oh my goodness. We're just going with it now. Hopefully the bronzer will save us. Do you know this is what this is what a first impressions looks like? Trying your products out and seeing if you like them or not. I'm just using the darkest shade now. Just like barely oop, <laughs> barely dropping into it. We're just contouring everywhere. That just looks like dirt. Looks like I have a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> some elf products are bomb and some are just not, and this is just not. I need some chapstick in my life too. I grab some real quick because I don't have a new one to try, I don't think. I'm just gonna keep blending this. Okay, we're done with this, but I'm not done blending. <laughs> just go real hard in there. Oh. Okay, if you take like a year to blend it out, it's not the worst thing I've ever tried. But it does just kind of look dirty. Okay, I'm gonna grab a chapstick right quick here. This is just the Vanoia one. This is not new. But my lips are chapped. So, there's that. Okay, bronzer. Please save us. We've got this. This is by Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because it does look like it has a shimmer in it, but I feel like everyone says that and then they're like, oh, you can't even see it. So, fingers crossed. Can't open it. There we go. It's really, really pretty though. And it smells like chocolate. Mm. Okay. We're just gonna go in there. We're gonna. Oh, that's dark. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Kind of looks. <gasps> oh. Mistakes have been made. We will fix that somehow. <laughs> Should have used a much smaller brush with this. Um, okay, let's let's fix this. Um, I'm gonna grab my KVD contour kit because technically it's new. I have not used this one yet, so we're gonna use this. And I'm gonna try to save this. Okay, um, let's take a nice. Okay, we'll use this. And I'm gonna go in with this light shade here. It's the lightest shade in the palette. Ooh, lots of kickback. And I'm going to go over top of this and try to lighten it. Actually, I'm just gonna mix the two lightest shades. 
Ooh. Lesson learned. That palette is intense. Or not palette, but bronzer. Oh, that's lightening pretty well. Still looks like I got punched in the face. Um, let's take the Jeffree Star powder. I don't know if I can save this, you guys. Okay, we're gonna try. I have more videos to film. <laughs> I'm just gonna put like a lot of this and I'm going to take a brush like this that I'm dropping. Um, this is a tapered, no, I don't want that. That's not what I thought that was. This is what I want. This is a foundation brush. I want this and I'm going to carve that out. Hopefully this saves it. It smells so good. If you guys have used this, tell me down below what it smells like. I kind of like the bronzer though. Like I like the color. It's just intense because I used way too much. <laughs> kind of look like a drag queen right now with as intense as that is. Okay. We are moving on. We're going to let that sit. And I'm going to move to my brows while we let this sit and hopefully fix all of our mistakes that we just made because there were a lot of them. Okay. I got this as well. This is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. <sighs> Don't let me down, e.l.f. Can I even open you? Okay, there we go. I've tried the other e.l.f. pencil before, but this is the like, that was like the two, three dollar one. This is the five dollar one, so hopefully it's better. I didn't really care for the other one. It was just way too waxy. Kind of was really hard to use, but it was okay. I want to do like a full brain review on e.l.f., so I'm gonna have to rebuy all those products I didn't like. <laughs> okay, the point is very fine, so let's just Go for it. Nice color match. We only had three shades at my Walmart. We had taupe, uh, like medium brown or something like that, like cool brown, I think is what it's called, and then brunette. So I got the darkest shade, which was brunette. So far, I don't hate it. It's kind of nice. It's a little warm for my liking. I noticed the other day I was at a uh, protest here in town and my friend recorded it and like it was on Facebook and I saw myself and I was like, oh my gosh, your hair is getting so red. So I really need to color it again soon. I think I'm probably gonna have to do it on my own just fine yeah like that's a really good color match for my hair right now and I just don't like it it's so funny because I used to love red hair like I always wanted red hair I colored my hair red so many times like bright red and now I'm just like I just want dark hair because I think it just like I love red hair still but I think I look better with dark hair so I need to color it but it's so funny because my hair like, it always just fades back to that color, and it's not my natural color, like, my natural color, my roots there, but my hair always fades back to that color. I don't know why. If you know things about hair and you know why, let me know. Because it's kind of annoying. Like, no matter what color I color my hair, it goes back to that. Like, I've done blue, I've done purple, I've done dark brown, I've done, like, a caramely brown color, I've done, like, bright red. I've done a lot of colors and it just always goes back to that. Okay, yeah, I like this brow pencil. I like it quite a bit. I just don't like the color too much, which is probably a better color for me than I normally use. My brows normally look very Sharpie-esque, but 
I like it. Okay, and now for our brow gel, I have the Wander Beauty Clear Brow Gel. We're gonna just pop this on. I love the little wand, it's so cute. It's gonna get so dirty though. I don't think this is like the strongest gel ever. Doesn't feel like it anyway. Give it a sneeze. Yeah, it's not getting that hair right there to lay down. Can you guys see that hair that's sticking up right there? I think I'm gonna have to pluck it because <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Okay, let's just knot those. I have like a pile of tweezers and there's like a few that I don't like. And it seems like I always grab those ones. Better. Okay. Moving on. Let's see if this saved my bake or not. If my bake saved my face or not. actually did pretty well. It's still not good, but it's a lot better than it was, so we're going with it. Okay, blush time. I have this by Becca. <laughs> this is the Camellia blush. It's a luminous blush. I'm gonna look crazy today. It's very bright. <laughs> I'm gonna take a blush brush. I've never used a Becca blush, so I don't really know Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I didn't really know the pigmentation to expect, but it's got a good pigmentation to it without being super intense. Just do like one, two dip and then put it on the face. Oh, I really like that. Okay. That's so pretty. We're back to a win. All right. I like that. Really pretty. Okay. For highlighter. I have two. I really want to use this, but I feel like I already look crazy, so I think I'm not going to. This is by Fenty Beauty. It's the shade Trophy Wife, uh, so it's that like neon yellowy gold color that I can't open. What is happening? Why can't I open anything today? There we go. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that today. I'm going to use this one by Kat Von D, or no, sorry, KVD Vegan Beauty. Um, this is the Metal Crush highlighter in the shade Gamma Ray. I just got this in my little mystery unboxing from KVD. So we're gonna try this out instead. It goes a lot better with our blush today, I think. Oh wait, I wanna spray my face first. What am I doing? Okay, I always spray my face before I put my highlight on, just so the highlight goes a little more. So we have another KVD product to talk about. This is the Locket Setting Mist. Mm. Ooh, minty. That smells really good and it feels really nice. It's a very light mist. There's no spots on my face. Okay, I like that. Now back to the highlight. Okay. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah, I like that. It's not like it's in, ooh, there we go. It's definitely buildable. Yes, okay, I like that. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought it was gonna be like this pinky orange and I was gonna be scared, but it's not that bad. Oh, I like it, I like it a lot, okay. I think this pairs really nicely with this blush too. Hmm. Win, okay. Now, I have an eyeliner. <laughs> this is by ColourPop. This is the um, cream gel liner in the shade Mr. Bang. I don't think you can get this anymore. I did get it like in that last sale thing, but we're gonna use it. 
because I haven't used it yet. And I want to. My face itches. Ooh, that tickles. Whoa! I need a mirror that's closer. Let's just use this little baby guy. Ooh, why does this tickle so much? Like my eyeliner face. I think my eyes are gonna start watering because this tickles. Oh no. I like the color though. Oh yeah, my eyes are watering. That's weird. It didn't hurt at all. It just it tickled. That's weird. Um, I actually have Yeah, we might use that today. I'm gonna pull that out just in case. Okay. Moving on to eyeshadow. I have this. This is by BoxyCharm. It's called the Hello Charmer palette. I've been wanting to try this for a while, so I've just been putting it off for this video. So we're going to do it today. I'm going to start with a fluffy brush, and I'm going to pick up Boxy, which is the matte white shade. A lot of fallout. I'm just going to dust that all over. That's a pretty good white. You can see it. Okay. Now I'm going to take... Oh, I don't even know. Spoiler? This shade here. Same brush. I'm going to pop that in the crease. Mm, not the most pigmentation. Very yellowy. It's kind of pretty. Oh, I just dipped into the wrong color. Ah. <laughs> I dipped into this like metallic yellow by accident, so that's fun. But we're all right. Hmm. This is not what I wanted, but I don't hate it. Yeah, that's actually pretty. Okay, let's do Cup of Joe. Same brush. I'm just going to put that like a little bit lower. Just very lightly. We'll let that yellow color have its moment. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty. These are blending really nicely. Okay, let's do... I want to do this unboxing shade, this like maroon color. So I'm going to take another brush. We'll use this. This is a Estelmas Glam SB68 brush. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop this on the outer corner. Bring it up into the outer corner. The uh, crease, too. We're gonna go for like some sunsetty vibes today. Wow, these are nice. I'm very, I didn't expect this, I'll be honest. Like, I kind of thought this was gonna be like okay. But so far, I've only used the matte shades, but so far they're blending really nicely, and I like it. Could also have something to do with that eyeshadow primer, like that eyeshadow primer might be bomb. I took this out too far, so now we gotta do the same over here. It's gonna be a little bit less dramatic with my wing look but i didn't so that's fine i'm gonna go back into the cup of joe color and just go back in there a little bit more and then i'm gonna grab another fluffy brush and go back into spoiler that yellow shade 
go back over here, over top of what we've already done. So far I like it. Okay, let's do, do I wanna do sneak peek or do I wanna do lux? I think both. So we're gonna take sneak peek first, the more goldy shade. We're not gonna wet the brush yet. These are like creamy, weird. Kind of like a ColourPop shadow. Hmm. Underwhelmed. So now I'm going to wet the brush with some setting spray. It's like a cocktail of several different setting sprays. So like when I have barely any left, I just dump it in that bottle and use it for this, so. Okay, there we go. There's the pigment that we want. It's still darker than I wanted it to be though. That's pretty. Now I'm gonna flip the brush over and go into Lux, which is the the yellow shade. Woo! Spray my brush some more. This would be really good with your finger, probably. Oh wow, yes. Oh, that doesn't... Weird. It's not translating on camera as well. As I feel like it is in person. That's strange. Can you guys tell? Like... Yeah, you can tell. That's pretty. It's really pretty. Now I'll go back into sneak peek and just blend those together a little bit. Now do I want to do... No, I think we're gonna keep it co cohesive. I was gonna say maybe we should do a different color on the lower lash line, but nah. We're gonna take spoiler, which is the yellow in our crease, and pump that on the lower lash line, just on the inner two thirds. Like so. And then we're gonna take unboxing, which is the red and meet that on the lower lash line and do the last third of the eye with that. Okay, now for the last part, I'm gonna take this little teeny tiny brush and I'm gonna go into pop-up, which is this like metallic-y white color. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Pretty. I like that. I'm gonna do that in the inner corner and on the brow bone. Ooh, that was chunky. Oh, wow. That was bad. <laughs> What did I do? I got like a chunk of it and it just kind of went everywhere. <laughs> like, can you see that little line? Let's see if I can. There we go. Pretty, I really like this eye look. Okay, so now to finish up the eye look, I have this. This is by KVD. This is the tattoo liner, which I've used millions of times, but this is the brown shade called Mad Max Brown, and I've never used this, so we're going to do that today. I'm just gonna do a little baby wing with some brown liner. I've never, never done this, so let's see how this looks. I want it to kind of be like more summery vibes. I feel like the brown would do better than the black would. Just 
That's the babyest of wings here. How's that look? Mm, not terrible. Just the babiest of wings. Did that one so much easier than this one? I feel like this one needs a little bit more of a point. Much better. Now I'm gonna do that classic thing where I keep going over it to fix it and just keep making it worse. Yeah, we're gonna stop there. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. For mascara, I have another Wonder Beauty product. This is the Ow, the Mile High Club mascara. It's volume and length, which are two things I definitely want in my life. So here is the wand, and let's just go for it again. I don't know why I keep putting this little thing away. Actually, pause. We're going to set my face first before I put on mascara. So we're going to take the KVD again. Mm. I really like this mist. It's really nice. Yeah, it's not leaving those like annoying little makeup dots anywhere. I like it. Okay. Do, do, do. We're going in. Oh, I wanted to smell the mascara and just touch my nose with it. This is a very, very dry formula, which I tend to prefer. I feel like it builds better than like the wet formulas do. It's an interesting wand. I don't really have anything like it. It's just like a, I don't know, like what I would picture a traditional mascara wand to look like, but like not. Okay. Little bit clumpy, but not too bad, and you can definitely work the clumps out. Mm hmm. Let's go ahead and do the other eye and let that one set for a minute, and then we'll go back. Right now, I'm a little underwhelmed. What is that thing in the corner of my eye? I can't get it out. Do you guys see that? Like, I don't know what that is. There's like something in my eye. Oh. Well, whatever it is, I got it. <laughs> mm. I don't know. It's really nice for the lower lash line. I, think I like that. Let's go ahead and try to layer it up. I think it's definitely giving length. It's just not really like. I don't know. Not lifting them as much as I want it to lift them. Which I also don't curl my lashes, so maybe if you did that, it would help. I feel like now it's just kind of getting chunky. Ugh. This is the most okay mascara I've ever tried. It's not bad. It's definitely there and it's present, but like... Is it great? No. Would I use it in like a pinch? Yeah, but meh. It's okay. 
Moving on to the final step. I don't even remember what color this is. This is by Illa Masca. Oh, <laughs> it's in the shade Solar. It's kind of like a pink. Ooh, okay. exactly what I would have picked for this look but I don't hate it very creamy very nice feels good on the lips I actually kind of like it with this eye look didn't think I would but okay I'm not mad at it um is that it? Is that everything? That's everything. I feel like I need a little more blush. Let's do that. Okay, we are going to do our quick little recap here and see what we use that we like, what we don't like, all that fun stuff. Oh, I have another mascara. Oh, I was gonna use this. I have a black liquid liner in here, but we don't wind up using that, so that's fine. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about some of these products. I'm trying to get like a good look at all of them. Okay, let's just do our recap. Um, primer, we'll start there. This is the Tarte one. This was really nice. I think it really hydrated the skin and it felt really good. So I like the cooling effect it has. So that's a win. I like that. The iconic London drops I really liked. I think they were really pretty and I think they shown they showed through quite well. Um, so I like these. I kind of want to use it as like an actual highlighter too and see. The CoverGirl foundation I'm I really really like. I think it looks really nice. It gave me a nice base to work with. It's not like super heavy. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. So this is a hardcore win. I really like that. The Eyeshadow primer, I think, helped quite a bit. I think I am going to try to use this more often and just see if I notice a difference. The concealer is bomb. I think it covered my circles nicely, or like the lines that I have. I have indentions right here. Like, you, you probably need Botox on them, but like, I'm not going to do that. So, um, I like this. I think it helped. And I think it brightened nicely. Um, what do we use? The powder I really like. It, I mean, it definitely helped this drastic mess that we made down here. So I think it's really nice. It smells really nice. I like that powder a lot. Um, the contour was definitely the biggest fail of this video. It was just not a good contour shade. It was too, too warm, but way too warm. The bronzer, I'm on the fence about. I need to try this again keeping in mind that it is very very pigmented and use a smaller brush like i think i need to use something more on the lines of like do i even have another bronzer brush where's my maybe something more like this instead and try that again um the blush i really like the blush is really pretty i think uh i was worried because in the pan it looks crazy and I was like, oh, I'm gonna look like a clown, but I think it, it's nice. It gives like a really pretty flush to the cheeks. Um, the highlighter I like, I'm not like blown away by, but I think it's pretty. It's more subtle than I usually use. So that could be a good thing, I guess, because usually I go a little ham with my eyeshadow uh, or my highlighter. The setting spray I really, really like. Like this is a good one. I like the way it feels. We'll see if it makes my makeup last longer or not, but I think it feels really nice. The eyeliner I already knew I was going to love. I do like the color. I don't think it's like super brown. I think it's still pretty dark, but that's fine. This eyeliner I also like. It's pretty. It looks good in the waterline, but it tickles, so that's weird. The mascara, again, I'm going to say it's the most okay mascara I've ever tried. Like, it doesn't look bad, but I've definitely used things that are a lot better. The brow pencil is growing on me a lot more. I'm still iffy about the color, but I liked the formula. I think it worked nicely. It was pretty easy to use, so that's fine. The brow gel, it's whatever, it's brow gel. Like, I don't think it's 
holding them in place super well. So if you're somebody that's got like really big brows like me, you might not like that. But if you're somebody who's got like three brow hairs and just wants to keep them where they're at, then that's fine. The eyeshadow palette I'm definitely down for. Like I think it's really pretty and I'm excited to use it again. I like it. This is the product that surprised me the most. And the lipstick I like. I'm not like in love with it, but it feels nice and I think it looks good. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> I like it with this eye look are a lot more than I thought I was going to. <laughs> that's it. Um, don't forget to like this video before you guys go. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. And leave me a comment down below if you've tried any of these products, what you thought of them, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.